In a recent article on Empire Online, Sam Worthington speaks about his character Jake Sully, family, and gives us a bit more information about the way of water. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day, and in this video I want to go over some of the questions and answers that Sam Worthington gave in this interview, and I'm not going to go through all of the questions and answers, I will leave a link of this article in the pinned comment if you want to read through every question, so I'm just going to go through some of the important questions and answers, starting with the one about family. Avatar The Way of Water is a film about raising a family during war times. How does that play out from Jake's point of view? I think the biggest thing for me was, in the first one, there's a real duality with Jake. Obviously he's human, but then he's driving the Avatar. Something Jim and I talked about was how do you keep this duality running, even though the story is increased and developed. Jake's journey this time is does he decide how he ended the last movie as this leader of these tribes, or does he just focus on being the leader of a family? That's the duality of his journey in episode 2. For Jake, whenever you include a family, be it the immediate one or the bigger one of all the tribes, the stakes are immediately going to be raised higher than they were in the first one, where it was just a solo journey. There is the idea of your family is a fortress. Are you raising a family or a squad? Look, I'm a father of three boys. Zoe is a mother of three boys. In this, we have boys. It was something Zoe and I could easily tap into, which was, what are you imparting to your kids? It's not necessarily about raising a squad. It's about what are you teaching them to be as they develop. Most families realize that you're going to have a conflict between mom and dad and how they're going to raise their sons and what kind of people they want their sons to be. In this case, Jake comes from the point of view of a military background, I think he learns into that way of thinking because that's what was ingrained in him about surviving. And so the conflict of pacifism versus militarism is definitely going to come clashing. Jake and his family take refuge with the Metkaina, some ocean adaptive Navi who live on the reefs of Pandora. How would you describe their relationship? I think by the time Jake gets to the reef, his family is the most important thing in the world, so he just wants to assimilate with these people and do the best he can to prove to them that he's left these warmongering ways behind. He doesn't want to bring the war down to the reef people, he doesn't want to bring the baggage of being Turok Makto with him, he just wants to kind of fit in and live with his family in this peaceful, harmonious environment. The problem is they're always chased by something. Sam Worthington then continues to talk about the technology and facial capture, which is a really interesting read and I highly recommend you guys check out the article for yourself. But I know James Cameron has already said that there's going to be a heavy emotional story involved with The Way of Water and the way Sam Worthington answers these questions, it certainly seems like Jake is going to have quite a conflicting battle emotionally on his hands. We saw snippets of that when we saw Jake and Atiri arguing about the people, about leaving the people, where she wants to protect the people and Jake essentially wants to protect the family and leave their home behind. So it's gonna be interesting to see that conflict play out. And of course, wherever they go, trouble follows them, meaning that courage follows them regardless of where they go. So I do wonder how that part is going to come into play, where Jake goes to the Medkaina and brings the war to this peaceful clan, to this clan that didn't want anything to do with the Sky People, didn't want anything to do with this war, and because of Jake and his family, all this war is basically coming to them. Overall, this article just gives us a little bit of information, not much, but it certainly makes me even more hyped about the way of water. But how do you think the conflict between Jake and the Medkaina is going to play out? Let me know in the comments below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.